So this is effort. You weren't even on the team yet. <laughs> um, I, this was around 2001. Fit had just started and uh, we threw this together quick because it was a new company and we didn't have any, we didn't have anything. I know I only filmed for like a couple days. Effit's video parts, there were no trips. There were, this is just like normal everyday stuff. He was just riding and someone was filming him and it just kind of got thrown together. I wasn't on the team yet, but I know that this video and just the riders that were on the team made me want to be part of the team. You know, like everybody that was a part of it and knowing that, you know, Moeller was kind of back in this whole program, you, you kind of knew it was going to be something rad. <laughs> Guy was on Schwinn. I hadn't got out yet. I remember this video coming out and it just being the beginning of Fit and also in a way the beginning of Mike Aiken. Um, he was just kind of, I mean, he was definitely established at the time, but also when you see where he was then versus where he got to, you could see that his style was just starting to kind of be refined and he was kind of just starting to come into his own. Uh, like, you know, it's like, it's weird watching this because back then you're like, oh, he's ripping, but then he just took it to a whole nother level as he progressed. It is weird how people progress, their riding just like takes on a whole new life. That's like little kid Mikey. You got baggy pants. <laughs> and little bars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's got the perfect sag here yet, though. No. I think he's just got big. He's got big pants. Baggy kid jeans. Yeah, I think. Give him a couple of years. He's he's evolving. Yeah, he hadn't figured out his his pants. <laughs> Did we ever talk about his pants? No, it's good. You think there's some whiz influence on the? Uh... It could be a lot of the um, popular tricks of the early 2000s: sprocket bashes and uh, tech vice picks to tail taps. Like Mikey's riding it was always hard to translate in videos mm. and in person. Like you, you just had to see it in person because it, it was just way different. Well, just watching someone like Mike ride in person is so impressive because it's not just what they're doing, it's, it's how they're doing it and how easily they do it. I remember going on trips with you guys and I would be like, man, on any other team, I feel like I was a relatively stylish rider, but I'd be like <laughs> with you and Aiken and Hawk and I'd feel like my tabletop stunk. Like. <laughs> I feel like he's still like he's still growing up here. Yeah, it's kind of cool when you almost grow with a rider. Like you see every stage of his career and his, his progression. And I think Mike's one of those guys that was always around. So he was at contest when he was 14. You know, so it's like you, you see every stage of his riding. And this is when he was, like you said, he's kind of still a little kid, Mike. But he's he's growing out of it. He's just starting to like develop his his style and cement his influence. 